everybody, welcome back to Shots Life. This week we're working on the 2005 American Eagle and I'm covering a bunch of stuff from the past. Uh, one of the big issues that I had in the past was the AC. Now, not the AC we fixed already. That's, that's different, the uh, top units. Well, I'm talking about the uh, driver's AC. Uh, one of the, the issues up here is the defroster works just fine, but the actual driver's AC and heat uh, has, has never worked. It, it kicked on like one time, but it's never worked. So we're going to rip into that and figure it out. Uh, yeah, and uh, we'll go from there. And uh, yeah, we'll start with that, and I'll just kind of leave the story as it goes. The video is kind of choppy because I think I was getting frustrated and I didn't video much. So here we go. Let's rip into this AC unit. All right, so we took the bus out for a test trip, uh, uh, I don't know, a couple days ago. And one of the things that didn't work was the AC blower didn't come on. The defroster blower comes on, but the AC blower doesn't. Uh, they're two separate things. So I tore the dash out, which I needed to do anyway because there was a blinker light out. But it was a pain in the butt, and I hated that I did it. But I needed to fix that. And that because on the forums, they said there was a fuse for the blower behind the dash, which is crazy, but whatever. Um, so anyway, I fixed the light behind the dash, didn't see the fuse, so um, now nah, I'm in here. And I've tested out the fuse, or the uh, blower motor power, and it's got 11 volts going to it. Um, so I've started taking the compressor, I've disconnected the lines, started taking the little compressor out of the way um, so that I can start getting access to the motor, because uh, I've got to pull all this out uh, to get the motor out. And then get figure out what motor it is and get it ordered, I guess. And uh, yeah, so it's going to turn into a big job. I got about a week before I'm supposed to leave, and I'm you know you need air conditioning, so um, I think I'm going to put you here. Uh, I'll just put it on time lapse, and I'll just go to town pulling it apart, getting everything out of here. Um, I got to get this motor out of the way, and then I can start getting this stuff pulled out. I don't think it's going to be too terrible, but I have to get in there to figure out what motor it is so I can get that motor on order. I got this thing out of here. It wasn't the prettiest job I've done, but I did get it out. There could be this Rio stat too right here, but it is putting a let 10 volts out or whatever. I'll probably order that and get it replaced too. Um, just in case. But we'll check this motor out and then uh, get it put back in there. That was not a classy removal job. I also need to fix this. I think it's bending down. I need to get it so it doesn't bend down. Maybe I'll shoot something. I need to put a, take this off and put a little plate or something behind it. So it's got more room. If I put a plate all the way down there, that'd be better. I won't worry about that in a bit. Let's hit this, uh, see if we took 12 volts of this, see if we get to run. And then we'll go from there. At the top. Fan works. That sucks. 11 bolts. Anyway, we're getting 11 bolts here. One is close to running.
these uh, fins are full of crap and they're just smashed. So I'm gonna have to go through and try to bend these back up and clean all this stuff off the best I can. Very interesting. Um, yeah, we'll get this cleaned up and then we'll uh, check this real stuff. We'll have to see if I can check this or just order a new one. See if that affects it. We know it's not the motor. We know it's not a fuse because it's getting power. So it's probably that, it probably is this um, resistor. So we'll still see. Let me get this cleaned up though since I'm in here. Man, that's dirty. All right. I'll get back with you in a bit. I'm just gonna clean. All right, so I'm not sure if this thing's pulling too many amps or what. You put it on my battery, it pulls like a son of a gun. A lot of amps. So I'm not sure, but I'm gonna order this and then the rheostat and the motor and uh i'm glad i got in here though i cleaned all that out that's a lot better all right so really good day the modulator the new one came in so there's the old one there's the new one it looks dirty but i don't know if it's bad or not well let's hope that it is bad and we'll get this new one installed right in there let's get this thing screwed in plugged in and we'll have AC. I'm <laughs> well, brand anyway. Here's the big test. Let's see, this goes to the motor. And then this one goes, these have to be bolted back down here eventually. We'll get those bolted back in. Those go there. There it is, all the way in the back. I didn't remember that going all the way back there. Remember, fingers crossed. So I got really frustrated with this AC. I replaced the fan motor. I replaced the, the thermistors. I replaced the relays. Uh, I tracked every wire that I could. And the only thing that it led me to was the spider box, which is up in the dash, behind the dash. And it looks like this. But it's basically electronic. And when you get into that, I really don't know what to do with it. So uh, yeah, it's total frustration. And then we took a trip uh to a local campground this is after our other two trips about an hour and a half away and uh got down there and my wife hit the light switch for this light right here and when she did it uh just totally shut down the entire um bus i mean it just the bus just freaked out and everything shut down except for the one 12 volt light over the dining room everything else shut down uh nothing worked at all i mean zero and there's a board underneath the bed, which I'll uh, show you here, um, that everything goes through. So I, you know, tried checking everything, nothing, nothing, nothing. And uh, um, I went down to the box, which looked like this when I got the bus. Uh, and you can clearly see the big red wire there, jumper. Uh, well, I, the other, I figured the other solenoid wasn't kicking, so I jumped it. And sure enough, it fired up enough things for me to get the air ride back up, the jacks the jacks up, the air ride back on, and I limped the bus home. Uh, the, and we sat for a couple weeks. I tried looking at stuff. I then tried to replace the solenoid that kicks the battery on and off, thinking that that might be the problem because I was jumping it. But I quickly learned that it was that the uh, again the electronic board that was in there. Uh, something was wrong with that. So I researched online, uh, read a lot of forums about uh, these type situations and things that people thought it was or whatever. Uh, Dash, the uh, AC seemed to be a common problem. 
uh, that spider box seems to be a common problem. And when I looked at spider box, I came across a place called Eminem Electronics in Ohio. Um, uh, so I called them up and uh, scheduled an appointment to go there. Um, Good morning, YouTube. It's three o'clock in the morning, and uh, we're getting ready to go to Ohio to go to Eminem Electronics where they are going to fix my electronic board and my front air conditioner and heater. And I'm going in the freezing cold without heat for four hours. It's going to be great. <laughs> and I have to drive through Cincinnati and Dayton during rush hour. Awesome. So anyway, this adventure is about to begin. I don't know if there's going to be updates or not. Uh, I'm tired. Get this thing started and I'll get it unplugged. I'll get it outside. I'll get the generator started and then I'll get the heat going inside the coach. <sighs> All right, so good morning again. The sun is up. There's light out now. We've passed Cincinnati. We've passed uh, Dayton. So we're just kind of chilling now. Heading up towards Lima, I guess. Uh, we're going to Ohio City, Ohio. And that's where Eminem Electronics is. It's been a pretty good ride. I had one error code on my air ride and I just uh, pulled it over, put it in park, turned it on, turned it off, and it reset and it was fine. I don't know what caused that. Some, usually it's the rear. This time it was communication error with the front. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm sure it's a connection somewhere that needs to be cleaned up or something. We'll see. But uh, yeah, other than that, she's been running pretty smooth. Uh, of course, not having a heater up here stinks because my feet are frozen. But uh, it is what it is. That's why we're taking it in to get it fixed, right? Uh, so yeah, getting that spider board fixed and then getting the main board in the back uh, fixed. Uh, so yeah, there we go. Should take about three days. We're gonna drop it off. It's about four hours from my house, maybe four and a half, I guess, with the uh, driving this. Uh, so we're going to drop it off, go back home, and then probably come back up uh, Friday, I'd guess, uh, if it's ready. I don't know. It's got, got Thanksgiving weekend's coming, so who knows. We'll find out when we get there. But yeah, it's pretty smooth sailing now. Uh, I'm cruising about 65. That's what the semis are cruising. So I'm just kind of following them in this lane. Keeping, my good, keeping a good distance and buzzing down the road. We're in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Man, we're getting close. We're about, I don't know, uh, 10 minutes out. And man, let me tell you, we are in farm country. Saw two semis pass. It was really windy. We were going uh, north south. And two semis in front of me, uh, one going my direction, one going the other way. Uh, wind gusts hit them. And they pushed them together and their mirrors smacked and destroyed both mirrors on the trucks. They're all on the highway or the road. So it's a little windy. Going this way isn't so bad though. Going I'm going uh, east, I guess. I'll be cutting back up here west again. Or I'm uh, sorry, I'll be heading again north again here soon. Alright, it's been a while. Alright, we made it to Ohio City. First successful automotive produced here? Really? Automobile produced here? What? I'm gonna go back and look at that sign. It says no trucks, but we're going. We're going. I watch these power lines, though, I know that. Blows. All right, well, I'll get.
get this all figured out and then we'll get out of here. So we're going down an alleyway out of here onto Main Street, so I'm kind of being cautious as I'm talking to you. I have to clear all this stuff. Good thing about it, thing about it is it's not a busy place. <laughs> so it's not too tough to... Whoa, that is a drop. Okay. So I'm down here in Ohio City, Ohio. And it's a nice small town. That's where Eminem Electronics are. I'm back here picking up the bus. Um, they did a lot of work to this bus. It cost me. It cost me. But I like them. They're a good uh, small town business. Um, and they, But they got through all my issues, which I had a lot of issues. Uh, more issues than I thought. Uh, I just mentioned some things to them on the side that I thought were wrong and they fixed every single thing that I had even discussed with them. Um, again. All right, so it's been an adventure already. I had to pull this apart. The line got knocked off the back of this. I don't know, maybe they're working on that switch or what, but the line got knocked off the back. So I only have this little teeny screw. I don't know where it went, here you go. I only have this little teeny screw. Thank goodness it fits in the Phillips sockets because I don't know what I've done. I took all the tools off because it was going in the shop dumb anyway so i'll get all that back together later but i had to tear it apart just to get that hose back on there and that's the airline for the door seal and it was just like and i was like oh my goodness that would been a long ride home so i uh, stopped at this gas station the gas was reasonable or diesel was reasonable it's 549 that's expensive but ohio everything i've seen on the road is over six dollars a gallon in kentucky we're you know five five dollars to 535 maybe high to high so uh we're filling her up. She's got to take a lot. And uh, we'll get back on the road. And then I'll talk about m and Electronics. Because uh, they're a cool little company. Two, 62 gallons for half tank.
right, so we're back and it's way later, but I just wanted to kind of wrap this video up and talk about what M&M Electronics did. They're a great company. I ain't gonna say they're cheap because they are expensive, but they are worth what they're worth every penny because they know what they're doing. Um, so one of the biggest complaints I had was the bus is slow to start. I thought the starter was going out. Uh, not true at all. It ended up being a ground uh, being loose in this in this circuit right here. They fixed that. I guess it was there. Excuse me, they have fixed that and now the bus just starts right up. It's crazy, it uh, starts on a dime. So that was my one of my biggest complaints. The second complaint was is that I had been jumping the solenoid uh, inside that box, which looks like that. Um, and I thought that that was bad. So I was jumping the, the electronic panel that made this click, uh, which got me home and got me to Ohio, which was great. Uh, but it was actually the electronics board inside there that was bad and look what they did I mean just beautiful. They wrapped it all up. They tied everything up They cleaned it all up and then they sealed it back like it's original again, and that's just super super nice I mean, that's just beautiful. I'm, I I love people that do quality. I mean they just go the step above right? They didn't have to do that They could have replaced the bot the electronic panel and just left it looking like crap but they uh, cleaned it all up and got it all tied up in there really nice So I'm really really happy about that um, so both those things were done and then but that uh, was only part of the problem the prop the uh, Other problem, you know the pump had gone out had quit working Which I don't think I even talked about but the water pump just started running 24 7 So I unplugged it uh, don't use it anyway because usually when we're parked we're hooked to a hose um, but uh, yeah, so that went out and and of course the light situation when you hit that and all the lights went out ended up being the wrong board in here it had the the board had that was in here had the wrong processor in it well, now how in the world i would ever figure that out i have no idea but this board runs everything inside this motorhome as far as lights and anything that 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 has a switch except for the 112 volt light above the dining room table everything else runs through this board and it had the wrong processor in it so i uh, that's that boggles me. I mean, I guess uh, they, they must have took it in at some point and had somebody fix it and, uh, and whoever fixed it uh, Put the wrong processor in the thing. So kind of crazy uh, But since then everything is straightened out. So now Everything works. So that's pretty exciting. It's a good feeling. It did cost us a lot of money m and m is I, I keep saying that is not cheap, but uh, the, what I would say is the, the value for what you get. And by the way, this is not a commercial. They're, they didn't give me a break. They should. By the way, I mean, if I ever come back, you better give me a break. Uh, they didn't give me a break. Uh, so this is just honest feedback. I love people that do quality work. And quality work is worth a little bit more money. So, But anyway, so they got that fixed. And lastly, uh, sure enough, the spider box, which here's another picture again, uh, was bad. And uh, they replaced that. They also replaced the outdated... Um, uh, relays with ones that I can that that match up with ones that I can buy today at a common uh, auto parts store So that's that was kind of nice, too uh, So yeah, everything is straightened out. The only issue that we still have with AC is the fan only goes in two speed instead of four speed And they believe that that's because of my replacement motor which sucks because I replaced I replaced it with the actual part number which was a lot more expensive uh, the Denso actual fan. So I will swap that back and see if that's it. If not, I'll, I'll be making another visit up there. Uh, but yes, the spider box, which is again, electronics, uh, was bad. So it's all worked through. It's all lined up. They, I mean, everything's beautiful again. Everything's working just like it's supposed to. So I am ecstatic. And uh, yeah, we're back on the road. So a little bit of frustration going through all this stuff, but well worthwhile. I mean, the wrong processor in the dang thing. Oh, the other thing that they did when they replaced that, it made the lights in the bathroom work that never worked before. Now I need to get lens covers for them because uh, a couple of them don't have lens covers. But this light never the this light in here never even worked before. Let's see ceiling. Yeah, those lights never even worked before. The uh, this one over here did, but the the ceiling lights never worked, and the guy never, didn't know why. Again, I need to order a couple more of these, uh, two of them, I guess, uh, covers. I've, I've replaced quite a few of them, but I'll need to get those. But uh, yeah, now she works. So that's that's great too, you know? It's good to have working stuff. You know, when you buy a, a bus like this, you've got to expect that uh, there are going to be a lot of things wrong you got to work through, right? Um, especially in this situation where the guy was in and out of the hospital, and I knew that. 
and uh, he really didn't have time and I think his finances too uh, just to spend on it you know um, these are not cheap to own and run uh, especially if you're get, if you're paying somebody to do the work which uh, I think he was paying to do all the work where I do the majority of the work myself except for the electronics when I can't uh, but uh, yeah it's extremely expensive to have somebody work on these um, so I don't think he could keep, I don't think he could keep up honestly I think he's, his focus was on his health and that's where it should be when your health is failing so uh, but yeah uh, we're getting through it I'm getting exciting we're I mean as every time we do something the bus just gets that much better uh, and I'm glad I'm kind of glad it happened the way it happened we were in a local campground this was after our two trips we were in a local campground and when it failed so that was kind of nice we could limp at home which is nice no tow bill or anything like that or no service fee and then I could get limp to Ohio which was great um, so it all worked out and I'm, and I'm glad it happened that way and then and then to find out it's the wrong processors and of course it's all electronics and the boards and then now to have my uh, battery shut off to work like it's supposed to uh, those are all great things right um, the batteries are now separated before they were all tied together with that big jumper now I, they, they have that big uh, solenoid that I can switch on and off my dash so I have two for the for the actual coach and four for the actual uh, living uh, batteries and then I can tie them together if I need to with the switch. So that's awesome. That's why it's designed to work. So yeah, what can I say? I'm thrilled. All right, with that, I'll see you next week.